point are you kidding me? There's a duck right there. Sit down. Let's see. Here she comes. Good morning, everybody. My name is Wes Littlefield, and today we are duck hunting solo. It's just me and my dog, Shadow. We've had a few birds work us already this morning, but not a lot's flying. I don't know exactly what's going on. It's just, it's been one of those years, to be honest. And it doesn't help that there's not any wind to speak of, so they can do whatever the heck they want, and there's not a lot I can do about it. But we're going to set out here a little while. Hopefully the pond doesn't freeze up on us. Thank goodness I brought my jerk rig, because I think that's about the only thing that's keeping the pond open right now. Otherwise, it would be froze over. I don't know what the heck Shadow's doing over there, chewing on a stick or something, being, being bored. But, we're going to keep going. Let's see if we can't find some birds. Holy crap. Right above the Shadow. Big, big group. Mark that one down as another bust for the year. Saw a lot more ducks finally, but I think the ice kind of scared them and they just, they didn't want to be here. But with that said, you guys have been asking about my jerk rig quite a bit. So I'm going to go over that a little bit. Today I actually hooked up two jerk rig or two decoys to the single jerk rig and it worked really well to keep the water open i mean as you can tell here i'll give a glance of it but right over here this is all frozen right here this is my open hole where my decoys are all the way to right here and then you can see that it's frozen all the way back from my decoy all the way to the other side of the pond and it actually i think that's what scared the ducks off this morning was part of it because i had one down in the hole that i really should have shot but they just didn't have a big enough hole for all them ducks to come in and land and they decided to go somewhere else but anyways back to the jerk rig as you can tell from the video i can work both decoys at the same time which is great so i think i what i did was i actually cut them about oh 10 foot long pieces of paracord is what I use but you could probably use just about anything and ran it through the PVC pipe and then um, put just a little clip on it and now I can tie knots with loops anywhere on my long string of paracord that I've got that runs back to the blind 
to make it to where I can set them wherever I want and pull. Oh, are you kidding me? There's a duck right there. Sit down. Let's see. Here she comes. And she's gone. <laughs> That's my luck today. That is my luck today. I don't know where the heck that duck came from. And then it's gone. That about sums up my year, to be honest. But anyways, I can hook loops all down the PVC and or not the pvc all down the paracord and just clip in i got little cheap carabiners is all i've used so far and it seemed to work really well um you know putting enough motion on and not having to run two lines for my dog to get tied up in or one guy can run multiple jerk rigs and put a lot of motion on the water and you don't got to worry about two guys having to be here to run them so that's my little update for the jerk rig Thank you guys for watching.